welcome to tonight's Big Brother 20 chat. You know what uh, night it is? It's the finale. Ah! The finally. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's been an epic summer. And tonight's finale was F nuts. <laughs> Last time the HOH was in progress, part one that is, and it was Casey versus JC versus Tyler. And they were in these jetpacks. Mm -hmm. And it was nuts. It was. I mean, they were tilting them like horizontal. Ugh. It was crazy. The plan was for uh, JC, uh, sorry, the plan was for Casey. <laughs> Whoever you are. Whoever cast this season and picked all these uh, rhyming names. Uh, should have made them all change their names, like Vicky Lester. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, Tyler was gonna throw the H O H part one to Casey. So he said, but I had a feeling Tyler was not gonna throw one of the final H O H competitions. So he told to, uh, Casey, like, yeah, I'll throw it, sure, whatever you say. But he was just like, oh, I don't hear her. I don't hear her telling me to throw it when they're hanging on there because JC was the first one to fall off. Right. It was just under an hour when he fell. What was your favorite part? Of this competition? Uh-huh. Oh my god, JC's reactions whenever they would squirt the blue like oh. antifreeze on them. He was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> somebody was peeing on his back. No! Like that never happened. Alright, anyway. <laughs> we don't have time for that right now. Anyway. Casey was telling Tyler, like, look, I'm about to fall. Drop. Drop. Yeah. And he was just like... Mm. I'm really <laughs> surprised that JC lasted almost an hour. I gotta give them all props, because that looked so difficult. But Casey ended up falling, so Tyler won part one. Right. And you know what? I gotta say, I wish they would freaking show part one completely on Sunday night's episodes from now on because they always rush the finale yep. so much. They spend so much damn time on these competitions and we don't get to see any of the interaction yeah. between the people who were evicted before jury and everybody else. And it's really annoying. I could have done with one last walk down memory lane and seeing the uh, part one of the HOH competition. Yeah. Not only do we miss like the reunion aspect, but the freaking final two didn't get enough time to explain all of their shit. Yeah. But we'll get there. So, part two of the competition. Mount Evictus. This is between Casey and JC. Right. It's the battle of the ACs. And it's physical. It's physical and mental. Yeah. There's three puzzles. By the way, a puzzle means <laughs> there's a statement. And you have to figure out which four houses Puzzle as in like riddle. Statement. Right. Yeah. So there's four answers to each of the uh, puzzles. And JC... And Casey, uh, Casey wasted <laughs> a lot of time on the second one, and JC wasted a lot of time on the third one. Well, just to give like a little bit of a setup for this competition, it's supposed to be like Mount Rushmore, but it's so, Mount Evictus. Yeah, you got to put up the house guests who apply to the riddle, and then their heads pop up if you're right. Right. Fun fact: Did you guys know that Mount Rushmore was actually supposed to be more than just the president's head? Ran out of money. Oh. <laughs> I love that joke on The Good Place, too, when uh, Jason's asking, like, if Mount Rushmore has their butts on the other side. <laughs> nope, it's just they had, ran I out thought of, of that because of this, but anyway. They ran out of money. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so... Poor Casey, they showed Casey first. Yeah. And poor she... Poor JC. What? <laughs> he was getting crap. We're out. not there yet! <laughs> Casey made a lot of mistakes here. Yeah. But she was going pretty quickly up and down the rock climbing yeah. wall. So, I mean, it pays off if you... Went on the wall throughout the season. Yeah. Because you got some good practice there. I guess JC uh, didn't spend a lot of time on that rock wall. Because he was like flying, falling, getting crapped out. <laughs> Can you imagine if Rockstar was in this competition? No. After she got stuck on that freaking wall? No. Alright. Well, anyway, JC, it seemed, made fewer mistakes, but he took longer. There was some creative editing here. Um, it was close. Yeah. Casey was like 18 minutes and... Only like 40 seconds separated the two. Yeah. What was she, like 18.55 or something? Yeah. And uh, JC did not win. Yeah. So that sucks for him. He was really torn up about it. He doesn't realize at this point that he's not going to go to the final two. Because Tyler and Casey have had this final two deal since the very beginning. But right. they're not telling him about it 
yet. So they're still keeping his hope alive, but Casey and Tyler were set to face off in part three. All right, so before we get there, let's join lovely Dr. Will. <sighs> I was so excited for this jury round table, you guys. So I, excited. Whenever Dr. Will shows up, I am there. Well, before they can start debating the merits of the final three, they had to find out who the last, second to last juror was. Right. So Angela walks out, and yeah. they're all like, "Woo!" Because yeah. they find out that JC won his first competition. Mm -hmm. So they're all celebrating, and Angela's just like, "Whatever, F and JC won." <laughs> that little F. Yeah, so obviously um, they were thrilled to see Angela because mm -hmm. she was not popular with that crowd. Uh, no. Um, she dropped some truth bombs on them. She says uh, Tyler and Casey had a final two deal. And all three of them were part of level six along with Brett, Rachel, and Winston. And right. freaking the hive was like, they were shooketh. What do you think happened? Why do you think you're all there and they were all in there? <laughs> Come on. You know what really pissed me off? Her campaigning for Tyler. Why? Because it was fake and cu and calculated and it, it just it didn't sit well. Really? I agree with the not sitting well part just because they were not like fans of Angela so I felt like anything she said right. they were going to be against it but I have to say she was making some good arguments yes the Casey, way she did it was very like in their face though you know she's not good at socializing mm -hmm. I could see why she has problems I mean there was a lot of ugh, bad feelings between Angela and like the hive so mm -hmm. That's not a big surprise, but I and feel like, go ahead. as I was saying, she made a lot of good points. Like, Casey, it's not like she coasted through the game. She won a lot of competitions, Yeah, but she didn't use any of her vetoes. I mean, you can argue she didn't need to. She didn't need to. Obviously, but I just feel like Tyler was more the strategic one of the two, you know? Would you agree with that? Um, but then you can also make the, the argument that Tyler did not handle himself well with everybody. You know, Casey yeah. was really friendly with everybody, really cool with everybody. She didn't do a lot of the backstabbing. People were mad at Tyler, not at Casey. It's true. But Tyler was doing a lot of the leg, leg work. Right. Uh, Casey ha did have lots of wins. They were saying, uh, you're only campaigning for him because you're in a secret showmance with him. And she was like, oh. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> uh, JC got a little jury time. They said he made some behind the scenes moves. Mm -hmm. uh, Fessy owned up to that. I gotta say, to the jury's credit, they were able to build a case for each person in the final three. There was nobody mm -hmm. that they were like, oh, no. Right. You know, everybody had a valid reason why they should win. So I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. um, Haley, I'm surprised. Uh, said that Tyler played a great game. I'm not surprised, because she's been saying that for a while now. Okay. She's been saying that for a while. I would have thought she would have been a little bit bitter. Mm. Just because she got... she Every time that something bad happened in the house, it was because of Tyler. But she sees that and recognizes that he was playing a really good game. I would say that Haley was the most reasonable out of the hive. She was like the voice of reason there. Okay. Would they listen to her? Probably not. Is she the least <laughs> likely to think that production had anything to do with it also? What do you mean? You know, um, production is not innocent in all this. <laughs> Wait, I, don't, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. You know the show has their favorites. Oh, you know okay. I mean? So you're saying that they were making Haley look better than... No, I was saying... Every time she finally got, like, the upper hand or whatever, it seems like maybe production had a little hand in knocking the power out of her hand and into Tyler's. Mm, I feel like every time she got power, she made some stupid moves on her own. <laughs> I don't think that was, like, production's doing. I, uh, I mean, production. she got screwed over when Rockstar went up as... The hacker but she had the same opportunity to make a move the week before and she blew it see i i think production has its moments of course 
I mean, I remember watching this show way back and thinking, wow, that's quite a coincidence that they would have this competition right now. Right. You know what I mean? Of course, this is reality TV. It's not real. All right. <laughs> so guess what, kids? You don't have to miss Big Brother for long. <laughs> because Celebrity Big Brother is coming back this winter. And guess what? Julie has confirmed that she will be hosting... Julie Ches Moonves. Julie Ches. <laughs> That's her new name. Julie, Julie Ches, Ches Moonves. Moon yeah. Okay. I, it flows better than Julie Chen Moonves. Okay. So let's just go with it. I Julie think Ches. Later Moonves. on in the episode, she also confirmed that it will be back next summer as well. So a lot of people were like, "Oh my God, is it coming back?" Mm -hmm. It is. It is. But okay. we didn't have any official word that it's been renewed for one or two or whatever seasons. <laughs> All right. Other than Julie Ches Moonves said it. All right. Well, then it was time for part three of the final HOH. Mm -hmm. So, again, this was based on the jury as it typically is. But uh, thank you for not making this a crapshoot. Mm -hmm. This had to do with knowing the facts, knowing the days and the events of the season. So I, I thought that was refreshing. There was no scales, though. Yeah, they didn't do the scales this time. I was kind of disappointed about that because I really, I, I think it's fun. Maybe the scale was broken and they couldn't use it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's called Jury Oddcasts and it's like uh, the jury members doing podcasts. Okay, this was fun because each juror had a podcast that kind of like fit their personality. Like Haley with the makeup mm -hmm. or Fessy with the business. <laughs> President business suit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I <laughs> I thought it was really games. funny. I thought it was really funny. All right. So they do their little podcast. They each say like three, three or four uh, yeah. facts or fake news about themselves, mm -hmm. and then Casey and Tyler had to determine if it was like Completely so true, true or not. Or quite. not true. Yeah. yeah. Eight rounds. Uh, whoever had the most after eight rounds wins. Okay. So they were tied at six. Oh my god. And they both got the last two wrong. And I was just like, this is so obvious. I felt like Tyler and her. And <laughs> Tyler and Casey. She has a name. <laughs> Mostly Tyler, though. Because Tyler would know about Angela better than anybody else. And he got her question wrong. Which was interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I see what you're saying, that like they, they would want to throw it. to throw it. Because they don't want to lose JC's jury exactly. vote. Exactly. However, I just, I don't see either of them throwing this competition. But how could he have possibly gotten Angela's question wrong? Maybe he just had a freak out moment and blanked. Maybe he was like, that's my Angela. <laughs> no. I don't know. I just feel like there's no way that either of these two would throw the final competition. Well, it came down to the tiebreaker. And Casey won the tiebreaker because he put a ridiculous number. It was too low. It was Hers, way too low. Casey's half, answer was low. so close to the right answer. It was crazy. She was off by like 13 seconds. I think he threw it. I don't know. I think he threw it. I don't know. I'm still saying no, but... I'm saying yes. You never know. So Casey was the final HOH, and then it was time... To make the decision. For JC to go. Okay. <laughs> so Julie checks in and, you know, you have your pleading. So JC goes first and he's like, you have a deal with Tyler. Okay, so... They must have just told him after the competition. Well, Casey, it might have been before the show even started. I'm not I sure. I don't think so. It feels like he was pointing over there like, I appreciate what you did over there by telling me. Yeah, here's the background here if you guys haven't been watching the spoilers. Tyler and Casey decided that they did want to tell JC beforehand that right. he was going to be going because they didn't want to blindside him. They felt like he's worked with them this whole time. They're really good friends and he didn't deserve that. So they wanted to tell him as close to the show as possible. Well, I'll say. Yeah, so I don't know when exactly that went down this afternoon or like maybe during the show, like you I'm said. I'm feeling like it was during the show. But he knew and at that time. Mm-hmm. That it was done. But he was still yeah. pleading his case. He was like, you have a better shot at beating me than you do Tyler. Because you and Tyler are both strong competitors. And Angela's been in there chewing everybody's ear off about how wonderful Tyler is. <laughs> Angela's been in there convincing everyone to not vote for Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Tyler's turn. I have a final two with Casey. So Casey gets rid of JC. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would have been if Casey then said, you know what? I'm going to keep JC. After Tyler was yeah. basically like, Casey's picking me. Well. That would have been awkward. 
JC freaking ran out to Julie. There was no one to jump in the doorway when he was walking out. No. <laughs> he ran behind her chair. She looked very upset. She's like, that's not how we do things here. I don't know. That's not how Julie Ches Moonves does things here. This interview was a bit of a mess. It was a bit of a mess. Uh, he said he wanted to play a dirty game, but he actually played a really loyal game. He said he was too to loyal Tylee. to Tyler. Yeah. Not to anybody else, really, but to Tyler. I mean, bottom line, he was the most loyal to Tyler throughout the season, for sure. More than Angela? <laughs> what? More than Angela? JC didn't like Angela. No, it was Tyler. Towards the end. No, I'm saying JC was the most loyal to Tyler out of anybody else that he was working okay. with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. I'm saying from JC's point of view. Right. There's just too much excitement. <laughs> and he drank way too much coffee. Yeah. Julie tried to ask him uh, other questions, but he was like, I'm sorry, I just drank too much coffee. And she was like, all right, enough of you. We don't have the time for this. Did you see the look she gave him? She was just like, <sighs> I did. She did not want to be there in that interview. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, usually they have the jury walk out one at a time. But There's I no guess time for that. there was no time because no they were all sitting on stage when they came back from the uh, commercial break. Julie's like, who do you think is going to be joining you? It's going to be JC. They were right. Yeah. So then it was time for the jury questioning. And... Which were lame F. Okay. This is my issue here. The whole like. Um, we're, we had the jury pick out like three questions for each, whatever. So if it's three questions for each, then that leaves three jurors that don't get to say anything. That's kind of annoying. But it was a consensus anyway. But, uh, Maybe they didn't particularly want to I'm ask about the question. I'm about to judge my eyes out. So we didn't get to hear from Rockstar, Fessy, or JC. We didn't really get to hear much from the jurors anyway. They pretty much just read the question. Oh yeah, there was no there was sort no of, like, interaction or anything. No, which is... <sighs> we need that. Okay, so they asked both of them, uh, "What were your biggest strategic moves?" Blah blah blah. Uh, obviously, most of the answers here were social game and power app. Uh, all right, I got some issues here. First of all, I will say in general, I don't feel like Tyler and Casey really prepared for this. Because they were like, we're going up against each other, we're best friends, it's going to be whatever, mm -hmm. we're going to have fun. So they did not, like, practice their speeches or think about how they're going to answer mm -hmm. things. The answers were very general. I feel like Tyler especially focused on the wrong stuff. He kept saying mm -hmm. that he got the power app in the second week. Um, yeah. That's great. It's great shop that's value. That's like nothing to do with your like, game, though. there were so many other things that he could have been saying. Mm -hmm. Like how he convinced Caitlyn... And I thought he was going to start talking about this when right. he said, oh, Sam told me about her power app. And I used that to, I thought he was going to say, to get Caitlyn to vote out Steve. Right. Get Caitlyn in with him and then get her to take out Swaggy, which right. would have been a great argument to present to the jury. Absolutely. But he was like, oh, it allowed me to get the second power app. Right. So, like, yeah, they were shocked when they finally found out that he was the second power app getter. But... I don't think he focused on the right stuff. I don't think he uh, kowtowed enough to them either when they were like, why do you think we shouldn't be bitter? Yeah. He should have done a little apology. What was that explanation tour? to Bailey? I needed somebody to hate me. Yeah, I know. And then, of course, the popular throwaway, why do you deserve to win over the person sitting next to you? Casey's answer is very general. Come She's on, like, we want some salty-ass questions. <laughs> right? Um... Casey was saying that she came in with a social game, she respected everyone, blah, 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 blah. Social game, power up. All right, so, Casey, what have you got to say for your final pleadings? I played a great social game! Don't get me wrong, I think Casey's wonderful. No, but me too. I was just a little bit disappointed by the answers. Also, yeah. another thing I was going to say, which I touched on earlier, they had, like, no time to answer these questions. Yeah, Julie themselves. kept saying, you know, like, uh, that's enough. I just want two word answers here. She was cutting them off so quickly. They should have budgeted the time better on this freaking show. I know. So, blah, 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 level six, and JC, best, uh, best alliance lives ever. Yeah. And then Tyler, um, I'm a super fan, and I had to keep it a secret, and I played dumb with my wide eyes. How many times did he say wide <laughs> eyes? And I had a power up. I thought and... he said bright eyes. Oh, bright eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, Turn around, bright eyes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then, I have a showmance that I have to out. He did. He was like, oh, I had a final two with Casey, and I had a little more with Angela. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the vote, blah, blah, blah. I, ha I had no idea who was voting from who. For who? Well, they're not by... supposed to say. I know, but usually they have a little quip or something to say when they put the key in, and I have no idea. I feel like Big Brother Canada's better with that. Maybe. So I didn't know. I was not knowing who was going to win mm -hmm. when they uh, pull out the keys, but I guess that's better, right? More well, suspenseful. Well, you want to be surprised. So Julie says, all right, first five losers. Come out and don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so then freaking Julie goes jumping on Angela. Okay, now and Tyler is the time when we waste time. <laughs> Usually this segment when the losers come out, they're like, "Hey, what's going what'd on you in think, the world?" Yeah, what'd you think <laughs> watching the show back? Right. But no. We just got to touch on all the showmances. We just got turned into the freaking bachelor. Julie wants to know Tangela, you gonna get married or what? They're both on board to spend time together. That wasn't good enough for Julie though. She was not happy with that answer. <laughs> then she goes to Haley and Fessy, are you just fake or what? And they were like, no, we're the real deal, bitch. Okay, fine. But then they get to Swaggy <sighs> and Bailey. Freaking Swaggy runs over to the other side of the stage he says, This was so bad. I spent more time with your parents than I ever have with you. <laughs> he spent more time with our parents. They've known each other for 23 days. They Look spent 23 this. days together. Look at this. That was so ridiculous. It wasn't like, you're the most wonderful person in the world, blah, blah, blah. No, it was, look at us. We're taking away this airtime. We're trying to steal the show, and we want to get on Amazing Race. And I'm sorry to be cynical, but that's the vibe that I got when they spent their 23 days together, and we're like, I can't wait to do Amazing Race. I can't wait to do this. I'm sorry, but, like, it felt so fake. What about when he said, I don't want any other girls. No, he said, I don't care about any other, any other girls. Who asked you? <laughs> what about her? What, is she just like the last other girl ever? I don't know. But <laughs> she said yes. So, like, congrats. You know, you never know. Maybe it'll work out. No. Getting engaged quickly is a trend now. Okay. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, it was a little bit annoying that they spent so much time on that when it could have been spent on other things. Right? Do you guys agree? Leave it in the comments what you thought. I would have been like, how dare you propose to me on this show and make a fool out of me. Do it in private. She wants the attention though. I feel like they both want the attention. Yeah. Alright, so then there's the vote. And five to four, Casey wins. Everybody, by the time they got to the vote, everybody's just like, what the actual F is happening right Julie now? Julie was falling all over her line. She didn't know what was going on Nobody anymore. knew where to look. Everybody was like not in their seats and Julie ran over to the uh, key box. Here's the votes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So but like you said, by a vote of five to four, Casey wins. It came down to Bailey's vote. And do you remember when it all went down between Tyler and Bailey and Bailey was like, you just lost my jury vote. Yep. And Tyler was like, I don't care about your jury vote. Oh, <laughs> snap. Okay. Well, you just lost $450,000. Wow. Okay. So they come out. Tyler and Casey come out. Congrats to Casey. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, before we get to America's Favorite and everything, what do you think about the vote? Let's just look at this for a second. If it was we look a bitter at, jury. I don't know what, that I would say it was bitter, but if you look at the voting breakdown, mm -hmm. I believe the Hive minus, minus Haley... Haley Voted for Casey, right. and then Sam voted for Casey as well. Right. So, I wouldn't say it was bitter because I think that Casey is still deserving. I'm just saying if I was voting personally, I would have voted for Tyler because I think he was the one that was actually making the moves. Would you still have voted for Tyler, though, if you had found out that everybody else was riding him like the town bicycle? Yeah, And I had a final have. two with him? I would have been impressed by that. I wouldn't have been. I would have felt... Uh, dirty and cheated. Okay. 
I would have been like, I own it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. You're not own even it. gonna own it. No. Okay, but seriously, I I um I think that Casey played a great game as well. I think either one of them would have been a worthy winner. I think even JC would have been a worthy winner. Like there were no <laughs> losers in this final three. Right. Yeah, there was no coasters. There was right. Yeah. They all had a different thing going on. There was no on. floaters. There was no goats. I think the best three got it to the end. All right. All right. So America's favorite top three, Haley, Brett, and Tyler. All right. We were so hoping for Brett to oh, take Brett. this. <laughs> but since Tyler didn't win, he won America's favorite. Yeah. Because if you guys follow Real Vegas for sure on Twitter... They revealed that Tyler was the top vote getter. Mm -hmm. They said that earlier today. But they don't always give the top vote getter the prize. Like right. if that person wins, they're not necessarily going to give it to them. They spread the wealth around a little bit. Yeah, so I think if Tyler had won, mm -hmm. then somebody else would have gotten it, but because he got second place, right. they were like, "Yeah, we're going to give it to Tyler." And Tyler was all like, "I thought America hated me." I was actually like really touched by his reaction. I think it was genuine. I think it was too. And now he, he's walking he away with seventy five thousand dollars. He wasn't that bad of a villain. That's crazy. I don't think he was a villain at all. No. <laughs> he wasn't a villain. I mean, he was shifty, but I don't think he was a villain. I mean, yeah, he was definitely shifty. He will not be I'll going give it to Villain Con. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now Angela <laughs> Honestly. Angela played more of the villain role than Tyler did. Yeah. But that's also because she's a woman, so... <laughs> well, that is that. Um, thank you guys so much. Would you still watch? No! <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching with us this season. It was a blast. This was one we of my favorite seasons season. in a long time. Thanks to all of our uh, supporters on Patreon. We yeah. can't do it without you. We really appreciate it. This allows us to do this uh, pretty much full time. Mm-hmm. And that's the way it should be done. Woo! We want a full acid. We want we a full want acid. Half it. Half <laughs> so let us know what you guys thought of, of the finale fiasco in the comments. It was a wild ride. And we'll see you next time. If you can't get enough of Mad Rose Z, we check also... out our links below. That's right. And until next time, much, much love. love.